Welcome to 92.8 FM 1 Radio, Grade 6 Learners of Payawan Elementary School. Great morning to you kids. This is your Science 6 teacher, Mom Jo. I will go along with you as we study a topic from the MLC, demonstrate how sound, heat, light, and electricity can be transformed. Today, we will focus on how energy changes from one form to another. Let us fill the day with a smile as we start our new lesson. Kindly get your activity sheets and ball pen and get ready to learn. Last time, you have learned about the types and forms of energy. Can you still remember it? I'm glad that you can still remember it. Energy is the ability to do work. Energy can be classified into two general types. We have potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy at rest, while kinetic energy is energy in motion. Can you still remember the forms of energy? Excellent! These are Mechanical energy Chemical energy Radiant or light energy Electrical energy Magnetic energy Sound energy Thermal energy And nuclear energy When an object or its parts move, it has mechanical energy. Example, is moving bicycle. Chemical energy is energy stored in molecules of an object. The food we eat gives us chemical energy to do activities. Radiant or light energy travels through space and can transfer to another body. The light bulb has radiant energy. When electrons flow or move, electrical energy is present. Examples of this are lightning and electric current. Magnetic energy is present when an object with magnetic field attracts another body. Magnets have magnetic energy. When you strum a guitar, sound energy is produced. The chords vibrate, which produces the sound. When an object is hot, its molecules move or are in action. The object has thermal energy. When atoms split or combine or fuse, nuclear energy is produced. This is the same energy that gives power to the sun and nuclear power plants. Very good! You have recalled our past lesson. Now, we can move to our lesson for the day. Our lesson today is about how energy can be changed 
from one form to another. Later on, you will have another activity, so listen very well. What do you put inside a flashlight in order for it to light up when we use it? Yes, we put dry cell or battery if more than one dry cell are used at the same time. I will now talk about how energy is transformed or changed from one form to another. You may hold your learning activity sheets while I do the explanation. Listen well kids! Energy can be used once it is changed into its usable form. This is called energy transformation. In the first example, we put dry cell inside the flashlight in order for it to work. We usually call the dry cell battery, but in science, if it is only one, it is called dry cell. If more than one is used, then we call it battery. The cell contains chemical energy. This chemical energy is then changed to electrical energy, which makes the light bulb to light up. The electrical energy is now changed into light or radiant energy. How about in the use of television or TV? How does energy change in the use of TV? First, we have to plug it. We use electrical energy to turn on the television. When we already watch, what energy forms are produced? Correct! Light or radiant energy is produced as we watch TV. What other energy form is present? You're right! Sound energy is also present as we listen to the TV show. Are there other forms that is present when you have watched for more than an hour? Yes, heat or thermal energy is also present. In that situation, electrical energy was transformed to other forms when we watch on TV. Then, electrical energy is changed into light or radiant energy, then into sound energy, and into heat or thermal energy. Energy transformation allows us to use energy into a usable form. It is also important to remember that whenever there is energy transformation, heat is always produced. Did you understand how energy can be changed into other forms? Very good! So now let's move on to the activity about the lesson. Prepare your learning activity sheet and ball pen. We will now start with a learning activity sheet or last. Let us read the direction. Identify the energy forms involved in the following situations. Write mechanical energy, chemical energy, radiant or light energy, electrical energy, magnetic energy, sound energy, thermal energy, or nuclear energy. Write your answer on the blank. So the first picture in the sheet is a cell phone. What energy forms are produced when we use it? What is the next picture in the sheet? Yes, that is an electric fan. What energy forms are involved in the use of a fan? You have two minutes 
to do the activity. Are you done, kids? Very good! I am hoping that all your answers are correct. If not, it will be just fine. As long as you try your best in our activity next time. Keep your activity sheet and make sure that you will send it to me when your parents or guardian return it to school. It is so nice to be with you today, all throughout our discussion. I hope that you understood everything we have discussed. Once again, this is your Science 6 teacher, Ms. Jocelyn at Mendoza. Always remember, science can make the impossible possible. Till next time kids, God bless and stay safe at home.